What's up, everybody? Jack here, and today we have a solution for those of you eBay sellers who have trouble with your account. A lot of physical sellers are told me in particular that they 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 lose track of their bookkeeping, and it's 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 frustrating, and it's a lot of time spent. So we're about to show you something that allows you to fairly automate this process. All you have to do is enter the cost of an item when it sells and everything else is spit out into a spreadsheet and you can share this with your accountant or your tax keeping software or your own records. It makes the process much simpler. So what's up, man? Tell us about yourself. Hey, Jack, what's going on? Uh, thank you for allowing me to be on your channel, man. It's a pleasure. Um, so yeah, I think I am a part of the uh, people that needed this software. So I created this software um, called Easy Fees IO to kind of help sellers along their journey um, with, you know, calculating all their sales tax, figuring out all their, their fees and everything correctly inside of an easy to understand accounting software. So I know you were, you're an inspiration to me. I remember watching you when I was first getting started and uh, I was learning how to drop ship and, and do a, I've done a bunch of different things, including drop shipping, uh, reselling, thrifting, and I also worked for a mom and pops uh, store. And I sold wreckers, uh, large giant trucks on eBay as well. And a couple of things that were always like hard for me when I would go see my CPA was just all the sales transactions that I would have in one year. I remember one year I had over twenty thousand transactions, and I did yeah, it was insane with over half a million dollars in one year. My accountant was like, oh my God, like what is this? So um we tried to use a variety of different softwares. I've you name it, I've probably tried it. I've I've tried zero. I've done um a couple other things with GoDaddy, I've tried uh Intuit bookkeeping, but they were, there was always something missing and it didn't really have a personal touch for each individual um seller's case. So for but instance, it wasn't designed for eBay exactly exactly like and there's so many different sellers and and types of selling models out there that they they kind of just put it all into one model and they assume it'll work for everybody but it's not really the case like as we've as we've been like showing this to people like they all have different use cases for it and like they've you know requested different options for it and stuff which is something you can't get from like your large accounting software so we're complementing them and we're providing those software those software features for them to use so it's pretty cool and it it seems to be helping a lot and you know i just wanted to give you a sneak peek and show you a demo of how it works awesome let's see all right here we go let me share my screen all right so here we go so i'm gonna take you guys inside of easy fees io right now first off i'm gonna sign in let me log in real quick. Okay. Awesome. I'm now logged in. All right. So how Easy Fees kind of works is it is a it utilizes a Chrome extension that plugs into your eBay store on your orders tab. And here's how it would successfully show you an order. So if I refresh the page down here, you're gonna get this box that pops up next to your sale, next to your order. And it basically creates a miniature invoice next to every sale. So what happens here is it gives you your record ID, the date it was sold, your buyer name, the zip code, the item name, and it, we're gonna add sales tax in here as well. It has the option to have your PayPal fees, the, and it also has uh, an area over here where you can write your extra profit in case you used like a cashback credit card. We have a final value fee area, a promoted listings fee, um, and we also have the included in here the sold for price, which you sold it for. And then right here is where we enter the original cost. So how this would work is, let's say I bought it for $1.25. Um, it would take into account all the fees that I, I had accumulated, add that up with the $5, um, subtract it from the original cost and give me a total profit of my actual sum, which would be 282. So I'm gonna submit that. And now the cool part is this gets recorded and entered into a database. So we're gonna go see where that database is right now. So under the reports page, if you go to all over here, you get a breakdown of a list of all the sales that you did in chronological order, easy to access at any time. 
and it just shows you all of your profits and what you can expect from, you know, the percentage, the sales percentage, the amount that you made on that sale. And down at the bottom here, we could see my last transaction, um, which I sold for $1.25, all the fees that were associated with it and everything. And then the cool part about this is if we need to just export like a certain amount of data, we can do that. So I'm going to create an, uh, an Excel file right now and we can export it and I'm going to open it up. And now we have a completed um, Excel file that showcases all of the sales, including the last one that I just entered, which is right here. And it'll give us a breakdown of all this information and I can simplify it or I can expand it to give it to a CPA to review. And it's just an easier way to do your uh, accounting instead of using Excel sheets or anything else along that line. So it'd be a lot easier and we're hoping less time consuming for the seller. Um, right now we're working on incorporating our next update. So we have a new update that's going to be released to the Chrome store very shortly. We're just waiting on the pending review to go through. It's going to include sales tax and it's also going to have the options to do returns and cancellations as well as uh, another feature here where you can adjust your shipping costs. So we'll have the ability to adjust your shipping because some buyers have actually, or sellers have told us like they need to be able to adjust the shipping because sometimes they make money on the shipping side. So this is, uh, and then we're also getting ready to handle managed payments as well. Um, we're learning how the managed payment system is gonna work and we're creating a replica of the original calculator to work with managed payments. Um, currently, this is a non-API calculator. Um, the managed payments one is also going to be non-API. Once we finish the managed payments one, we're then going to move on to creating another calculator that is API based. So you will have the option to choose whether you'd want a non-API calculator or an API integration. And it just gives a little bit more um, of a choice for the seller, just whatever their business model and how they'd like to uh, sell on eBay. So that's kind of what we're working on. And then uh, another feature that we're getting ready to add in the future, once we finish the API integration, it's been recommended to add a inventory management system. So we're gonna try and create an inventory management system that would work on your, um, when you set an item into eBay, it would record it and it would just go into your cost of goods. So it can automatically replace this and you won't have to enter an original cost. So that's kind of how the software is going to progress and what we're building out for right now. Awesome. I, I like that the, cause I'm thinking from a drop shippers perspective and for mm -hmm. a lot of them, like they, first off, they don't really record stuff well at all. Right. But the fact that this is on the same page as a page that people who sell on eBay already look at all the time is really valuable because it may seem like, oh yeah, you could just alt tab, but over, over the years, if you're doing this in a serious way and a lot of time, when you're going to another window and entering information and going back, this adds so much potential for error and to get distracted and to waste time. So it's really convenient that you just put it right there and click click a button on a page that you're already on anyway. You don't have to go anywhere new. You don't have to go to a different place. You're just on your sales on eBay seeing what's sold today, which is something that all eBay sellers already do. So I like how you've incorporated that into a place that is already visited. It's not like you have to go to another file to add the information. It all just is there. And I, I think that's that's my favorite part about it. Yeah, that's, that's one of my favorite features too. I always like, I, it would frustrate me to like, I would always have to open up so many different pages to figure out all my different fees and where they're located. Like they're all pretty much scattered throughout eBay pretty, pretty well. Uh, there's multiple pages to get to every single fee. And then I didn't really like their breakdown when I did get everything in an Excel file. I thought it was like convoluted and just really meshed together. So I was like, I think it would just be a little better of an idea if we could just create a miniature invoice just next to every order that kind of just goes over everything and just gives you like a solid view of everything in one spot. So, and yeah, like you're saying, I'm, I'm always on this page. I know most sellers are on the orders page. So we were like, it would just make sense to just add it to the orders page. So we just threw it in there and, you know, it's luckily it's been working. So we're pretty happy with it.
So, so tell me, say that, say that somebody wants to try this out. How do they go about yeah. that? Okay, excellent question. So here it is. I'm going to log out of my account and I'm going to show you the process. Um, so here is our landing page right here. So if you would like to um, go to our landing page, it's easyfees.io. And I'll give the link uh, to Jack so we can leave it in the description. But basically how you would log in is we recommend that you guys uh, click this button right here. It's going to say step inside. So basically we would have you guys, we'd have you guys sign up. Um, your first name, last name, and email address. When you sign up, you will get an uh, email that's sent out to you. It's a welcome email. It helps you guys get started. Uh, inside that email is going to be a link to our secret Facebook group page. We have a secret Facebook group page where all users can um, tell us what features they'd like added. And if there's any bug issues, you have direct communication to me as well as my developers so that you guys can communicate on a you know, a one-to-one -one basis. We are, you know, a small, um, you know, startup here. So we have, you have complete interaction with our developer team and also with me. And you can post if, you know, you want an extra feature or not. Once you're inside that group, uh, you can reach out to me and say that you'd like to try out the beta extension and the beta um, application that we have out right now for accounting and bookkeeping. Um, when you reach out to me, uh, I will give you a link. Inside that link, uh, it's when you sign up for it, it'll create a two months free trial and then it'll be $5 and you'll have that for the whole duration as we keep building up our software. So you get two months free and then it'll start accruing $5 every month. So it's a lifetime membership for early bird subscribers of just $5 a month until, you know, that'll last for the lifetime, even after we launch and we increase our price just for supporting us and being around for our growth and helping us to, uh, you know, grow our software. So, so if I understand right, say that in the future, this develops and it's $20 a month, the people who signed up in the beginning will still be paying the grandfathered rate of $5 per month. Absolutely. Yes. They're going to have access to this for $5 a month with no changes, uh, just because we just wanted to reach out and support the community for helping us get started and, you know, get the ball rolling. We're just going to give back to you guys. So that's our gift to you guys as well. It'll be $5 for a lifetime. And then um, we, we've we also been, you know, asked to build out for other platforms. So when we do move on, it'll probably be the same rate uh, can, across all platforms as well for being an early bird user. So it just, you know, that's, that's just our gift for allowing you guys to, you know, support us and us supporting them. Wicked. Awesome. Yeah. So if you guys watching this are interested in trying it out, just look in the description of this video and you can get a link to the landing page. Sign up for the landing page, enter your name and email, and then you'll receive an email to a Facebook group. Join that Facebook group and then you can get access. To it. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. 100%. Awesome. Cool. So I think that that's pretty much it. Is there anything you want to share before we end the video? Um, if, if you guys do, if you have questions about it, you can always reach out to me. Um, I'll, I'll give Jack a, a link so you guys can reach out to me and an email address if you guys would like to know more. Um, but yeah, we, if you guys are interested, we really love to have you on board. Um, it, it could probably change a couple of ways that you guys are accounting right now, hopefully make it a little bit easier. And, you know, we'd love to hear all the pain points that you guys are having so we can make this better for you. So if you if you think, you know, you have a problem that, you know, another accounting software isn't solving for you, just let us know and we'll start to incorporate it in our software so we can solve that for you. So that's it. Wicked. All right, Brian, thanks a bunch for showing this. And remember, yeah. guys, if you're interested, just look in the description, find the links, check it out. Absolutely. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate it, man. No worries. Ciao. All right.